Illustrator Extension Tutorial Part 4, Adding the Detail. Open the Layers palette, ensure that the GRA layer is active. Click on the Pen tool, ensure that all your letters are deselected. We're going to draw a leaf using our Pen tool. So make sure that you have the green selected for the fill and there is no fill for the line. There's half my leaf, deselect the leaf, and now I'm going to draw another half a leaf. I want the gradient on this second half to be different from the gradient on the first half leaf, so I'm going to click on the gradient tool on the left toolbox, and I'm going to uh, manipulate the gradient slider. and rotate it around the other way, We're actually just there. So you can see I have two different gradients. I'm going to click on the selection tool and move my second leaf half and position it next to the other one and then just drag it out a bit so that my leaves, leaf halves look like they match. I now need to select both halves, so I hold the shift key down and click on the second half of the leaf. Go to object and group or the shortcut control G. And that should now be a complete object, so I have a leaf here. I want to make a highlight on my leaf now to make it look a bit more three dimensional. So I'm going to change the fill to white, use the pen tool to draw a white line on my leaf. Give it a bit of curve, and I have a white line. Make sure the white line is selected. Go to the gradient palette on the right of your screen. Um, change the style to or the type to linear, and you can see it's defaulted back to green. So I'm going to double click on this slider, change it to white. I'm going to change the opacity to zero. And then I'm going to double click on this slider and also change it to white, but leave the opacity at 100%. Going to now zoom in on my leaf. And I want to draw some small ellipses to make it look like uh, drips of water. So I'm going to choose the ellipse tool and draw an ellipse with a water droplet. Then I'm going to zoom in again onto the water droplet and draw another ellipse on top of it and another ellipse on top of that one. So they give the impression that I have water droplets. I'm going to select all of the water droplets I've created. So I'm going to click on the selection tool, control G to group. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Going to control C to copy, deselect, control V to paste, and position the water droplet where I want it to be. Zoom out again. Deselect. So if you're not happy where they are, you can always reposition them. And there I have my leaf. I'm now going to select all of these objects. So using the selection tool, I just draw a box around the whole thing. And I'm going to group the whole thing. Object group. I'm then going to zoom out a little further. I'm going to move the leaf up on top of my grass, leaving a little gap. I'm going to copy the leaf, 
going to paste the leaf and now I'm going to object, arrange, sorry, transform. I'm going to reflect it and I want to reflect it through the vertical. So OK that. Then I'm going to move the leaf up near the other leaf and make it slightly smaller. So if I want to keep it in proportion, hold the shift key down and just pull one of the corners in. So I have two leaves above the G, one larger and one smaller. And then I'm going to go back to my original leaf, copy, paste. I'm going to make it quite small, hold the shift key in to keep it in proportion and then place that just above the A. So I now have three leaves above my grass. I'm going to zoom in quite close here because I want to draw stalks that connect my leaves to my G for grass. So I'm going to um, use the selection tool, click on my leaf, double click on my leaf, and that brings the gradient back again that I was using previously. Click back to this arrow at the top and it takes you back, but I've kept the gradient here. Using the pen tool, I've got no stroke, but I have a green gradient fill. I'm going to draw a little stalk. And if I look on my layers, I should still be on the GRA layer. So my stalk will go from here to here, finish up there. I'm going to object, arrange, center back. So the stalk is now behind the leaf. Deselect, selection key, deselect, pen tool, draw another stalk over here. And if you want to change the gradient, and again, object, arrange, center back. Zoom out to check how that looks. I'm going to zoom in here, use my pen tool, start my gradient, and then object, arrange, center back. Zoom out again. So far, not looking too bad. Obviously, my lines here aren't that great, but I'm sure you girls will be able to do a much better job than I have. We're now going to add some more tendrils and some more um, water drops. To add the water drops, select one of your leaves, go to Object, ungroup it, deselect it, then select one of the copy uh, rainwater drops you've got, Control C to copy, deselect, and then Control V to paste it. And you can paste and resize your water drops wherever you want to. So there's also a few more tendrils to add. Going back to oh, double click on anything that's green. Double click again to make the fill color change to the green gradient. And then you need to go back and back here and back here to make sure that the layer is shut and you've got the whole thing happening. So now I'm going to draw some more tendrils that crawl around. Now you can change the gradient on any of these by using the gradient tool and then pivoting the gradient selector. So select what you want, click on the gradient tool, click on the gradient selector and you can see it changes the appearance altogether. So this one here, I think I'll change it again. I want it lighter at the bottom. That looks a bit better and I'm happy with the other ones. So zooming out you can see I have some creeping vines wrapping around the A. I need to add in a few more little details. And we're pretty much finished that stage.